Alrighty then, we talked about an easy recipe for a pie crust for my pot pie video, and I'm gonna show you how I make mine. Very simple, this is three cups of flour. It is cold, and now I'm gonna add a cup, eight ounces of lard. But first I have to get it out of the paper. It ain't pretty, but it makes a good pie crust. Let's move this. <coughs> so, pastry cutter, my little Danish whisk. This is a very easy recipe. This is all that's in it. Three cups of flour, one cup of lard. We're gonna blend that together, and then we're gonna add one egg yolk, and we're gonna add a half a cup of ice water, which I've already got chilling like a villain here, plus one tablespoon of ice cold water. We're gonna add that to this, and then I have somewhere, oh, and I knocked it over. Huh. Yeah, I have to do it again. It's a, it is uh, one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sugar. I knocked it over. Hmm. It happens, it's just cooking, making a mess. So I cleaned up the scene of my crime and there's my teaspoon of salt and sugar. Uh, this is how I find my lard, even in either, either in these containers or a round one. And I keep them in my refrigerator because to make a pie crust, that sort of thing, it's better when the ingredients are cold. And of course my egg yolk is cold. So let's get started. It ain't hard, it's a simple pie crust. If I can do it, you can do it. I ain't nothing but a mouse. Now we need our half cup of cold water plus one tablespoon. So I just take myself a different measuring cup, hold my ice back. Hit that half cup and then use a tablespoon. If I can keep the ice from getting in there. There we go. So not hard, that's why you have more than one measuring cup. I prefer the glass ones. Let's get that mixed up in here. Now let's switch back to our cutter. see from the side. I'll get this mixed in, but this is what you're gonna do. Dig around and bring this together. The racket in the back is my coffee pot going. So we're gonna dump this out, and this is why you wanna start with a clean countertop. Let's try to move this big bowl, and it's heavy. And we're gonna start to pull this together, and then I'm gonna separate this into Three sections, wrap it in cling film, you know, plastic wrap, and set it in the refrigerator for one hour. So it looked crumbly and a hot mess, but notice it's come together. Don't overwork this. This is a pie crust. As you can tell, you would not want to make bread with this. So I'm going to push some of these crumbles back in. This has taken no time at all. The biggest thing was when I spilled my salt and sugar. So take our little thing. These are like $8 on Amazon, practically free. And let's make ourselves three little cuts. Now I'm gonna wrap these, like I said, in some plastic wrap. into the refrigerator for an hour, and I'll come back when it's time to roll them out. Easy peasy. Alrighty then, my timer went off for an hour. I actually made six. 
so that I could have, because I come from a place of more, I am a food storage enthusiast, I'll be freezing the other ones so that anytime I want to, I can whip them out and make myself a pot pie. So again, very clean countertop. This is the pie plate I'll be using to put it in. And I use a marble rolling pin that I put in the refrigerator. So during that time that this is wrapped up for an hour, and when I freeze these, all I do is wrap these in aluminum foil, that's the cling wrap or the plastic wrap on them, and put it in a Ziploc bag and label it pie crust. So, I'm gonna smash it out a little bit. Now all we have to do is make it the size to fit this. And remember my pot pies, I do a top and a bottom. We're just gonna rolly, rolly, rolly with our ice cold rolling pin. You can do the same thing with your wooden one, doesn't have to be marble. All right, so I'm gonna keep rolling. This is exciting, I know. Another reason I like this little thing is I can slide it under just like when I am kneading bread. I did put a little flour down here, rolled it, and then I flipped this pie crust over so that that flour would get on my ice cold rolling pin. A little bit more. You can also peel off and patch. Make it work. I done pulled off my patch. These things happen. This ain't the Food Beautiful channel. This is pie crust for a pie pie. It ain't rocket science. Now we're gonna finagle it. That is not a cooking term, but it is appropriate. Why have you moved on the camera stand? You people need to sit still. I pinch my ends. There's no oil, anything in this plate. Peel some off, stick it over here. Very, very nice. Now I'm gonna make my filling for my pot pie. And after I do that, I will roll out another disc for my top and I'll link that video in the description. This ain't hard, it is your basic Three cups of flour with some lard. Pie crust. And it feels nice. If I need a little more, I pinch it, stick it over here. It will be just a fine. This is what I used to make my pot pie out of, a quart of uh, chicken soup. This was October 2019. So good. I know I don't make a pretty one, okay? But I do, when I do my slits, I do open them up a little bit so that if anything's boiling over, there it'll be. And I'm gonna slide it on a cookie sheet and I did an egg wash over it. So, it is not a beautiful pie crust, but it is a great and easy no-fail pie, pie crust. 
winning. Oh, yeah. In the oven. Yum City.